Hi, this is Sajad, welcoming you to this video of Nuke Learning. In this video, I am going to show you how you can create crowd of audience, something like stadium full of people. One of the main uses of particles in Nuke is to create crowd simulation. As a reference, I have here some shots of the feature film called Race 2016. It is a sport thriller film, and I am aware that the stadium shots were created and duplicated by the particle system in Nuke. One of the main issues in compositing this film was the main plates were not shot in front of the blue or green screen, and all the extractions were done using rotoscoping. It is about 700 VFX shots, and the final work is incredible. One main thing to consider when creating crowd shots is the angle of view or POV of the camera. So after shooting the stadium seats, you should have your audience shot with the same angle. For instance, in this stadium shot, the camera in front of the seats, so I should have my audience shoot in front of the camera. In this 3D stadium seat model, if you have your camera shooting from left side, then respectively the audience should be at the same angle. The next step is to camera track the plates and extract the camera data and positions of the seats. I have explained how to camera track and extract and render camera, some axis points or some other 3D geometries as reference from Nuke into other 3D application like Maya, so that the 3D department or 3D artist can design the stadium model in 3D as accurate and as close as possible to the plates. Then for each shot, you will import 3D geometry of seats that are in POV of the camera and then create and duplicate crowd for that shot. As you can see, I have a shot of these audiences with three characters. Definitely for serious projects, at least, you need to have more than 50 actors and actresses with different suits and different acting. They all should be shot in front of the green screen or blue screen. So here I have this audience shot. As I said, I will be showing this demo only with three characters. So the first step is to key the green screen. Again, for this tutorial, I will do a quick key. But in serious projects, you need to clean the background and keep the foreground as much as possible. I have explained in detail how to pull green and blue screen keys in other videos. Load a Primat node, click on Auto Compute, hit A for Alpha Channel, set the operation to clean BG noise, and holding Control and Shift, remove these white areas. As I said, I don't do it quite perfect. Now hit O for Roto. Draw a mask around this character. Then set the pre-multiply to RGBA. Then hit M for Merge. B to Primat. A to Roto. And set the operation to Mask. Then load a crop node. Limit the bounding box around this character. Check the actor in all frames, not to have it accidentally cropped. Or you can use the auto crop technique. In the properties of crop, toggle on reformat option. 
When I do this, you can see the size of this asset will be decreased, otherwise Nuke has to calculate the whole frame size for nothing, which slows down the Nuke. Do this for the other two characters. I already have them, so let me copy them here. I just separated each character. Make sure to have the alpha channel correct and active after the crop node. Now let's switch to 3D and I want to use a card instead of this 3D model because the topology of this model is not correct and the result will be different. So load a card node. Set the orientation to ZX. The numbers of rows and columns are important because in this technique we are going to use these point or vertexes of faces of the card here to emit the particles and the number of these rows and columns are the number of your audience. Of course you can increase or decrease it later. Let's keep it at the default for now. Now load a camera. And move the camera back in Z axis to have the card inside of the camera view. Then look through the camera and double click on card and rotate X a bit to have the shape of stadium seats. Then choose Vertex Selection tool and draw a selection mask around these vertexes. I am adding these points to the selection by holding Shift. Then load Geo Select node and connect it to the card and click on Save Selection. This node will keep and save this selection of the vertexes for me. Now it is time to connect all these together. Load Particle Emitter node and connect the particle input to the first character. Then connect the second particle input to the second character and connect the third particle input to the third character. There is no limitation on the inputs of the particles here and you can put as many characters as you have here as particle input. Then connect the emit input to the geo select node. Double click on my footage, you can see it starts from frame 130 to 550. So the first step is to create particles for one frame and keep them for the rest of my timeline. So go to frame 129. Set emission rate to 49.
49 is the number of vertexes I have selected and saved using this geo-selected node.